we've looked at uh, many different lines of uh, evidence for uh, how uh, a hurricane like Hurricane Melissa uh, has changed as a consequence of climate change. We found that the uh, wind speeds that we saw in Hurricane Melissa are about five times more likely than they would have been without climate change, and that the underlying environmental conditions that can lead to a hurricane like this, so that's the sea surface temperatures and the atmospheric conditions, were about six times more likely than they would have been without climate change. This hurricane was 185 miles an hour at its peak wind speed, uh, which is you know, really, really extreme. It's definitely the strongest hurricane to have ever hit Jamaica, for example. And a big part of how it reached that was the rapid intensification that happened uh, sort of about five days before landfall. Warmer ocean temperatures are effectively the engine that drives a hurricane. So they take the energy from those warmer waters and it's turned into uh, wind speed or higher wind speeds of that hurricane. So the warmer the ocean temperatures, the greater the wind speed a hurricane can have. And we've found that uh, ocean temperatures uh, were about 1.4 degrees uh, warmer over this part of uh, the Caribbean, and we also know that they've been increasing strongly globally as a result of climate change as well. 